Hi, it's Mojo Gate. Hope you're well. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, just wanted to do this uh, brief video in honour of our Leeds PPN four year anniversary. So I thought I'd do this video so in a way I could share my knowledge that I've accumulated over the last four years of running this event and also in our property business so I can share some valuable tips that potentially could help you move forward. So I'm just going to try this to, uh, and make it a bit more fun than just throwing tips out there for you. So I'm going to do it through progressive style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an acronym. So I'm going to use the word leads. So I'm going to per letter, I'm going to give you a tip and hopefully that will help you. Okay, so let's begin. So first I'm going to start with L, which is all about leaning on. So one of the main issues when you start in property is lack of experience. Uh, lack of knowledge. So one of the best ways, even I found, and also I'm sure many people can attest to this as well, is to lean on somebody else's experience. So find somebody that may be a few steps ahead of you in the same strategy or what you're looking to do. Um, get together, meet them, um, have a coffee with them, get to know them, and somewhere start to work with them in some capacity so that you can extract their value and help you move forward. And other ways you can get this done is to get mentors. So mentors is a great way to get somebody to help you to be accountable. So you can uh, gain from their knowledge, their experience, so they can help you move forward in your property journey. So this is normally a paid service. So it's all about making sure you get the correct mentor for the right strategy and also your, what you're getting from them is actually value for what you're paying them as well. Okay, and this way is a great way of getting your hand held throughout the process so it can help you minimize risk. So the thing about property is no matter what you do, you will, it will never be, you'll never get to a point where there's absolute zero risk. There is always a risk involved, whether you're working with someone or working by yourself. The main thing is to make sure you are minimizing that risk. Okay, so the best way to do that is to latch onto someone or to lean on who's got the experience that you require to help you move forward and also make less mistakes as possible. And also you can learn from their mistakes because the thing about in property is when you make a mistake, it is normally costly. So on to the next one. So E is for education. So education is learning what's out there, learning about your strategy getting to know the theory. So what education does, it gives you confidence. So knowing is all about giving confidence. So if you don't know something, you just don't know. So even in any way in your life, you've probably experienced this. If you don't know how to do something, you will normally not do it. Because when you know something, you have a path in your mind, you see the process, and it sort of gives you more confidence to move forward. And also education helps you, as I said, minimize risk and also keeps you ahead of the curve, lets you know about the new strategies and actually take advantage of something new that may be coming out or something that 90% of people don't know out there. So if you know a bit more than the other 90%, you will definitely make money in property. So the next C is all about evolving. This is sort of carries on from education. So evolving is all about staying ahead or adapting to a new strategy. So I'll give you an example. So if you buy a buy to let property, so that's a single property, and you rent that out on a monthly basis. So what else you can do is if you know and you're involving, is you can also turn that property, the same property into a HMO. So instead of renting it per month, the whole property, you're actually renting it per month, room by room basis. Or you could even go one step further and you could do something like service accommodation, which is basically turning your property into a hotel and renting the room per night. So this is all about evolving and knowing what's out there. So you can take advantage and do more with the property you have or the properties you're looking at in your area or whatever you're looking to invest in. And another great advantage of evolving all the time is about knowing your market cycles. And the thing about property, property is very cyclical. So the market is either up, down, or there's Brexit or there's something else happening that's you know, in, uh, having an impact on the economy. And if you know, uh, if, you're, if you're educated or you've got the knowledge and you're evolving and knowing the market cycles, you can not that you know, um, it also helps you to take advantage 
of any opportunities that come out there. So in certain market types, it's good to hold. Uh, in certain market types, it's good to sell. And there might be certain times where you might just need to do nothing. Or maybe you might need to sell up so you can create capital and cash so you can take advantage of a recession maybe you know cheap properties and build your property and take advantage whilst others are fearful so it's always great to be ahead of the curve and knowing and evolving all the time and moving on to d so d is all about diligence so diligence is in my eyes very important it's actually super super important so whether you're looking at property, whether you're looking at working with another property uh, partner uh, for your investments, maybe you're looking to work with a certain company for training or you would partner with a certain company to buy deals off or to actually invest with, then diligence is key. Because firstly, you need to know they're an actual business that's trading, the person that's running or behind the business is actually real. So there's ways of doing this. So you can go on Google, you can use various resources, they can do due diligence, you can check on them, use um, sites like Companies House, where you can actually see if the directors are actually the same people that you're dealing with, and also look at the accounts, or whether they're actually making money, or is it just a front? So they can, they can sort of coerce you into taking your money. So be diligent, I cannot stress this enough, because there's so much out there now, a lot of people are propping up, and there's also great people out there that you need to find and stick with. So do your due, di due diligence, it's paramount. And my final um, letter is going to be S. So I'm sort of split this one up. So it's either start or start with a single strategy. So to avoid procrastination, to avoid overwhelm, the best thing to do is uh, find out which strategy you want to focus on and go deep into that strategy. Firstly, find out whether you want to create cash flow or whether you just want uh, to invest in property for capital appreciation or both. Find that out before and actually just choose one strategy and go deep into it. Because as you know, as I've said, you can also evolve that one strategy as you, uh, as you evolve and learn more and take in more education as you go along. And also doing one single strategy will also save you from procrastination. So it'll save you from not starting so if your mind is overwhelmed, you're never going to start. So focus on one thing or focus on one step at a time and go deep and focus on that strategy. Okay, so I hope that helped. And um, one of the main ways my event can help you move forward in your property journey is all the points that I have shared with you today, you can sort of get that from my event. So. Let's start with L, so leaning. We have loads of people, property property people coming to our Lease PPN event from different um, levels of experience. So you can lean on them on a monthly basis. And they are all doing various strategies and it's always uh, great to actually talk to the actual person that's doing it. Um, actually talk to them and knowing what's happening on the ground and what is what, uh, what's really happening with that strategy as they are going through it themselves. And education, at least PPN education, we have speakers there every month that are doing all sorts of strategies. Strategies, I try and spread, I try and spread the subject area as wide as I can, so you can learn um, all the strategies, know the strategies. I don't mean go and do uh, do all this, uh, go out there and do all the strategies that you're going to be exposed to, but pick one and go deep into one. Okay. And coming to these PPN on a monthly basis, because we do this over the years, you're going you're gonna to be always ahead of the person that doesn't, because you're always evolving. You're always there with the latest, what's working and what's not working. And also, at least PPN, there's a lot of people with experience. We've got experience in property. There's a lot of other people that come that have got much experience in different sectors. So you can do your diligence that way. The people have been educated with certain companies. They will show you what's actually work, what's got results for them. So it's a great way to do your diligence in a more face-to-face -face basis. And also, it's a great opportunity to get started. Um, I will give you an excuse if you've never been to these people, and I will let you come for free. So you can actually come to the event and you know take your first steps. So get started. So get to know what's happening. And also, this way on a monthly basis, you stay motivated. Whether you you come on a monthly basis you go away from the event then you'll get that injection of motivation on a monthly basis and be around people that are actually doing it 
build relationships and help you uh, take in all them points that I've said before. Okay, so I'll try and leave uh, information with this video about the event. And if you're interested in coming, let me know. If you can get contact with me in direct, um, you can catch me on all social media, social media under Mojogi and Progressive Property Network Leads. And I just hope that this video has helped and it'll help you to push forward. And uh, hopefully I'm looking forward to see you uh, at our next Elise PPN event. Come join on October 8th, uh, which is actually our four year anniversary and help us celebrate and uh, we can get to know each other. Okay, so thank you for listening.